Hi guys, Steve here. And in today's video, I'm going to cover the universal safety rules for handling a firearm. Stick around. There are four universal safety rules when handling a firearm. This news is old hat to some of the old timers out there, but if you're new into shooting, these are the four universal rules of safety that you must abide by. These rules are Rule number one, treat all guns as they are loaded. When you pick one up, always perform a clearance check. Rule number two, you never point your gun at anything you're not willing to destroy or kill. Rule number three, you always keep your finger off the trigger and all outside of the trigger guard. You do this until you're on target and you've made the decision to shoot. Rule number four. Always be sure of your target and most importantly, be sure of what's beyond your target. Let's take into consideration rule number one, considering that all firearms are loaded regardless. Whenever you're either handing a firearm to someone or receiving a firearm some, for someone, from someone that is, you must make sure that the firearm is uh, unloaded and safe to handle. Now, if the party is handing you a, a weapon and they've checked it to make sure it's unloaded, when they hand it to you, verify that it is in fact unloaded. For example, say you're handing this firearm to someone. First, you want to make sure that there is no magazine. The magazine's been removed. You open the slide, make sure there is nothing in the chamber at all, even checking down into the barrel. barrel. Then you safely hand the firearm to the other person. Now, if you're on the receiving end and someone hands you this firearm, uh, just don't assume, well, he's checked it or she's checked it and it's already safe to be handled. Go ahead and verify again that there is nothing in the chamber that there's nothing in the barrel, down the pipe, that you can look down there to see if there's nothing in there. And in doing so, you're ready to examine the firearm, whether you're purchasing it or you're just examining it or just admiring a friend's uh, gun. But you must always remember that this firearm should be considered loaded at all times and never assume that it is not carrying around in the chamber. Even if there is nothing in the magazine, you should assume, even when the slide is closed and it's been checked, that there may be one in the chamber. So if you should put the gun down just for a minute and then pick it back up, re-verify that nothing in there. You can do a, a, a check just by uh, opening the slide and looking in there, press check to see if there, there's a round in the chamber or not. If that's not safe enough for you, slide it open, double check again that there is nothing in the chamber or in the pipe. Now that you've received the weapon from either the uh, dealer or a friend or whoever and you want to see what it feels like in your hand and you want to point it somewhere, always make sure that wherever you're pointing it is not in the direct line of anything that you don't want to shoot or anyone you don't want to hurt or anything you want to destroy at all. Make sure you're pointing it in a very safe direction. And again, if you've talked for a while, even though just to be on the safe side, go ahead and do a press check, open it up. Make sure there's nothing in the uh, pipe there. Make sure there's no uh, magazine in the uh, grip. And then you can safely, with your finger off the trigger, point in a, a direction that you deem to be safe. And it will not, if you should have an accidental discharge, it will not hurt anyone or damage any property. Uh, the best thing to do is to, if you're at a gun store, is to ask them where they would prefer uh, for you to point your weapon because they may have a uh, specific area that they would deem as a uh, safe zone for you to point your weapon at or for customers to test the side alignment and everything. So always remember, never point this at anything that you don't want to destroy or anyone you want to hurt or kill. You go into a gun shop and you see someone looking at a firearm. Or maybe you're just around with some friends and someone's checking out a friend's firearm. Now, they have safety check the firearm. It is empty. That's good. That's fine. It's great. But the first thing you notice a lot of people do is they'll take this firearm. And once they get it in the hand, they'll put their finger on the trigger. It's just natural. It's just 
you see it so many times in Hollywood, that's the first thing you think of. You grab a gun, you put your finger on the trigger. Well, that's not the way to do it. The main and one of the most important safety factors is, outside of not pointing the weapon at anyone and making sure you uh, assume every weapon is loaded until proven otherwise, is you keep your finger outside of the trigger guard and up alongside the, the uh, firearm itself. You keep it off the trigger until you're ready to come down on target and ready to fire. Now, I don't know how many times I have seen this in the store before where somebody will be looking at a firearm, it's uh, safety checked, handed to the customer, the customer takes it. Very knowledgeable, you think, with looking, he's looking down the pipe, nothing in it, lets it go, puts a finger on the trigger. Now, let's not do that. Let's remember at all times, unless you're ready to fire the weapon and you're actually on target, you keep your finger on the side, outside of the trigger guard, and off the trigger. Let's take rule number four, and that is being aware of what is beyond your target. Whether it, you're in an indoor range, an outdoor range, or heaven forbid you have to pull your firearm in your defense, always be sure to know what is beyond your target. If you're in an indoor range, you probably have the backdrop and you don't really much have to worry there. On an outdoor range, you have probably an embankment uh, or some sort of barrier. But be aware that there might be somebody walking out there that may not know the range is hot. Always make sure you know what is beyond your target. Now, let's go into self-defense if you have to pull your weapon out in self-defense. And you've got your target here. You're, you're focused on your target. Your adrenaline's going but look what's behind your target. Should you miss your target, what are you going to hit that's beyond your target? Is it a passing vehicle? Is it a, a, a man or a woman and a child, uh, an animal? Uh, is just some innocent bystander? Going, or will, the, will the bullet miss your target and go into a glass uh, window of a business or something and inside uh, possibly kill somebody there? Uh, it, lots going through in, in the self-defense uh, scenario though, uh, so you really have to be keen on not only focusing on your target, but focusing what is beyond your target. Take into consideration what would happen if you miss your target. What are you going to hit that's beyond your target? So again, rule number four is very important also, is always be aware of what is beyond your intended target. I hope covering some of these four universal gun safety rules have been some sort of help to you. If you have a comment or suggestion or just want to bounce this around, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell to make sure you be notified of future uh, videos that I might be putting out here soon. And until then, be safe out there.